Hello and welcome to Calm Science Simplified. Let's discuss an important detail that is linked with event propagation in JavaScript and that is the difference between the target and in the current target. If you don't have an idea about event propagation in JavaScript, check out this video on our channel and come back to this video after that. It basically explains the way in which an event, although triggered on a single element, travels all the way up to its ancestor tree and then down again triggering several handlers on the way. With that sorted, we are now clear that one single event like a button click can trigger several handlers at a lot of different levels. For instance, if we take this example of a nav bar, a click event on it can be captured at two places, either on each of the nav element or at the level of the nav bar. Let us say that instead of attaching a handler to each link, we do it at one level higher, that is the nav bar. In that kind of a scenario, whenever any one of the nav link elements get clicked, we need to know which one of the four it was. This is where target and current target comes into the picture. Inside the event handler, we get past the event object. And the target property on the event gives us the exact nav link element that was clicked. Then what about the current target property? Well, that gives us the element on which the handler was attached to which in this case, will be the nav bar element. And that is why in most of the cases, we see the current target and target values are one and the same which might be because the event was triggered on the same element to which the handler was attached. But in some of these rare cases like the one we just saw, the difference is critical. Smash that thumbs up button if you learned something new today. That's it for today's Comscience Simplified. See you in the next one.